State Minister for Urban Development in other news, that is Isaac Musumba, has advised local governments of Moyo and Obonji districts to expedite a memorandum of understanding in the implementation of the USMID program. This was during the first general meeting of Program Technical Committee of Uganda or for the Uganda Support to Municipal Infrastructure Development. Wabongi and Moyo districts disagreed on who of the two should retain Palurinya, a refugee hosting sub-county in the area. When the Uganda Support to Municipal Infrastructure Development, USMID, embarked on the second phase of developing towns, Eight new municipalities were brought on board. These were in Tungamo, Kasese, Kamri, Kitugum, Rugazi, Apach, Busia and Mubende. These were to join their 14 counterparts of the first phase that have already been earmarked for cities. As you all know, this main program has been around for the, for the last five years. However, the second phase became effective in April 2019. The main changes to the program have been the increased stock scope from 14 municipalities to 22 and an additional eight districts hosting refugees. The performance in the concluded phase enabled technocrats secure additional funding. Funding has also increased from 150 million to 360 million and we thank the World Bank for increasing the credit but also providing a grant that targets refugee hosting districts. These changes are welcome, however, they have come with increased responsibilities. This helped the inclusion of eight refugee hosting districts. Two of these are yet to agree on who hosts the refugee hosting sub-county of Palorinia. I wish at this note to encourage Moyo and the newly created Obongi district to expedite their resolution to get a memorandum of understanding on how to implement the USMED program in their communities so that they can also be received into the USMED fraternity. Obongi and Moyo district's boundary has been contentious and could affect progress of the proposed and already earmarked USMID projects in the area. If the people of Palorinia sub-county wish to belong to another district, there is a process to be followed to change the boundaries of a district. Before the process is completed, Palorinia sub-county shall continue to be under and getting services from Obongi district local government. In this phase of USMID, participating municipalities we receive grants to strengthen capacity in executing their mandates for delivering urban infrastructure and services. The proposed infrastructure includes urban roads and associated infrastructure, urban transportation terminals, urban solid and waste management systems. Henry Okurut, UBC.